Okay, so now we're ready to do some a little more uh, finesse here to build our final podcast. And uh, let me make one more audio track here. I want to show you something interesting. Uh, we're going to go to track, new, or you can do shift command in. And uh, it's going to create a new one right below here. And there we go. So we're going to take our time shift tool and watch this. If you wanted to, uh, you can move these down to another track just, just, uh, just for your information. Uh, but right now we're going to delete that track just by doing this. And uh, we are going to import some uh, music uh, in, our, in our project, just in case we want to add some music before and after. So here we go. How do we do that? File. We're going to import audio. And, uh, here we go. And it's this one right here. And it's going to go into its own. Just just uh, go, go past this. We're going to make a copy. Just default to this. Uh, and let it import, and here we go. So it this is what what music uh, comes in as as uh, stereo. We don't need stereo. So here's what I'd like for you to do just to simplify things. Let's use our drop down menu in this particular one. It's called Respect for this uh, stereo music track, and we're going to say split stereo to mono. Right, and now we're going to just get rid of one of these. There we go. Uh, and also, it looks like it compressed our timeline a little bit. <laughs> uh, so, but that's okay. Just uh, sometimes it, it does that. So we could use this to, if it was a little bit longer. This one, this one is not that long. It's only four minutes. Uh, not even that. It's like three minutes. Uh, but we could use this again as a source for choosing audio. Uh, this might not be so handy down here. Uh, maybe you want to put this on top. It just might be. So you can drag these. Literally, I'm going to drag the whole track just by clicking anywhere in a spot that doesn't have a control and using a little hand and just drag it right up there. And now uh, it is above our our three little clips that we have for, for our podcast bill. Uh, so while it's kind of compressed right here, I'm going to go ahead and use a selection tool. Select all of these. And the time shift tool, and I'm going to just move them a little bit to the front because they were way, way down there. Uh, we don't really need that. Okay, and how do we uh, zoom in? Right, I'm going to use our magnify tool and zoom in. And I use our slider here, zoom in so we can actually see what's going on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, here's, uh, I'm going to go back to our selection tool. If I just play here, now we haven't done this before, but what's going to happen is this. All of the tracks that have audio play at once. Well, that's no good, is it? So the quickest way, there's several ways to do this, but the quickest way is to just solo the one that we want to hear. And that immediately dims the others down. So if we play again, naturally, we play as low as they that's all we're going to hear. Well, you could solo too, and they'll both play. Now, what do you know about notice about this audio for music is that it's loud. It's loud. So, so let's um, while while it is like this, I'm going to just mute. I'm going to unsolo this one, and so now all that it's going to play is the music, right? And uh, let's um, we're going to also note that we need to make another track for to put the music that's going to be in our final underneath in case we wanted to play under the uh, the spoken word uh, we can't put it in the same track so we're going to need to make a separate track here we go track new uh, and this is just be an audio track and there we go so this is going to be for our little music kind of pieces here that we're going to choose from up here so I am not going to be paying a, a bit of attention to, as to what uh, I'm choosing here. You will, because you'll just, you know, you want to say, okay, well, I want to, maybe I'll just choose this uh, little bit at the end. I'm going to just choose this, and uh, I'm not even going to use a label. I'm just going to go ahead and select it, and uh, I'm going to do Command C for copy, and I'm going to go down here to this new track that I just made, and I'm going to put Command V. 
like uh, maybe right here where the click point is, Command V, and there it is. Now, why is it grayed out? Well, because we have this track soloed. So we're going to unsolo that. You see, they all came alive again. So if we want just these two to play, what do we do? We solo them both. There we go, and they will play. And it's loud. It's always loud. Music always comes in loud. So how do we how do we deal with 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 volume? Here we go. We're going to use another tool here, and it is called this uh, envelope tool. So I'm going to use this, and when I uh, click this, uh, the whole thing it becomes kind of live, but don't worry about that. We're just going to pay attention to this one track. So you see it's these two, or there, you can't really make it out, but it's two uh, uh, triangles facing each other, little tiny. So now we have these, these two kind of regions of this track. We have the inner and then the outer. So you can click anywhere in here. I haven't clicked yet. I'm just moving it around. Uh, but we we really want this whole thing is just is too loud. So uh, I'm going to click anywhere on the top here. And what it did was it made these two these four little points one two three four, and those are control points that you can use to grab and pull down. But right now we only have one. So what that's going to do literally is change the volume for the entire thing. And that might be okay. Uh, it you know, just depends on what you're trying to do. Uh, by the way, if you pick an inner one here, uh, you can barely see it there. Uh, it, it'll go uh, louder than <laughs> it'll go louder than uh, than it's possible by choosing the upper one. Okay, so suppose we want this to uh, to fade out. Well, let's just make another point, like say right here, and drag that in, and now it is faded out. And of course, uh, this was too loud, so we're going to reduce this. Whoops, there's a point here somewhere. There we go. How do we get rid of a point? Okay, see, I'm I'm dragging it now. You can see that. All you do is you I'm continuing to hold the mouse down and just drag it right out of its channel and, and that's how you get, get get rid of that. So see I'm, I'm adjusting the, the ramping up and down. In this case it's going to fade in because it plays from left to right. And here it's got a natural fade out. Uh, but we can grab the existing point and kind of you know make it, make it a little bit lower there. So I'm going to use my uh, selection tool and put it right here and let's and play spacebar. Here we go. Well, you see the timing's off there, so what would you do? I'm going to use my Time Shift tool, move that back. There we go. Let's play again by the Selection tool, click, play, spacebar. We pay as low as they could. So that has a natural fade out, so we don't, um, you know, that, that, that's, that's, we're not really doing much here. So let's find a spot that it doesn't have a natural fade out. And let's, let's see what we can do there. And I'm going to move this down. And I'm uh, going to grab the points, the existing points. And I'm going to just, um, I'm, I'm getting rid of them. And here's some down here, these little ones. So there we go. There we go. Now that's the original volume when you see it like this. Uh, that's that's the original volume that it came in, but let's just say uh, we're gonna let's let's cut off um, maybe up to here. So how would we do that? Again, selection tool, just select, see, and uh, delete. Here we go. Now we got this horrible uh, kind of uh, falling off the cliff thing there. Let's see how that plays back. Yeah, that's no good, right? So what would we uh, do about this? Well, uh, there's another way that I haven't showed you. And I'm going to take this and select like this much. Uh, because here's our, here's our uh, audio when it comes in, our spoken word. And here's another way to, to do this. Effect. So we're going to fade out. Right? 
And so everything I selected just ramps it down. Let's play that again. Uh, it's, it's still going to be loud, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to choose our envelope tool again up here. And let's just lower the whole thing, because it is loud, right? So let's play here. Play as low as I could. Now that's another way you could do it. You could do it up here as well. Just select that part there, and effect, and here we go, fade in this time. Here we go, and it just literally uh, ramps it up, so let's, let's play that. Through. Play as low as I could. So that's a really nice effect. Now this is still too loud. Uh, music really shouldn't be over 12. And what is 12? Well, we haven't talked about that, but look up here. Here's the number line for our, um, our levels. Minus 12 to minus 6 is generally about the sweet spot for, for what we want. Well, let's play this through and keep your eye up here and let's see what that is. Oh, that's way over there. So we still need to reduce it. Here we go. Let's try it again. Now let's play back and see if we're in the right range. Still, boy, I tell you, this thing that's being persistent. How about that? So, yeah, that's looking much better. Pay as low as I could. Okay, so and and that's that's generally how you tweak that. Now these spots here, uh, you know, you don't necessarily have to. Let me use the time shift tool. Uh, if if we play through that, it might sound okay. So let's try it and let's see what that sounds like. It fly. So it sounds okay because the same kind of amb the background is is going on. But once we switch that out, now let's play it back and find out if you could fly. It sounds so like you fell off the earth, so we can't have that. So what are we going to do there? And we want to keep that. We don't want it. We want to keep that gap. In other words, we want it to be that far apart. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we could go back, we could go, if we had enough, we could go up to uh, use this. But I think we're going to need to go back to the source. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, just choose part of that. Here we go. We can, even though it's muted. So I'm going to do Command C and right down here, Command V. And I'm going to uh, play that through. Well, no. Out of which we. You can see we fixed the gap. Uh, it doesn't have to be that that big. Uh, you could you could uh, fade it in or out. I don't think you need to, but uh, you could also do this. Just take that, uh, select that, and delete, and it makes it shorter. And then just use the time shift tool and get in there. But that's how you'd fix gaps if you wanted these gaps because you can't have it sound uh, like dead air coming. That's just very jarring. Well, no. How do we try? So we fix that. Let's make it even a little bit bigger so we can uh, really tell, you know, what's going on there. But it should be a tiny bit of overlap, even so. No. I See, that fixed it. And if we move this over here. No. Yeah, we can't have that. Okay. So that's how you would fix those little gaps. Uh, you know, having pauses in there is, is a good thing. All right. So, it, you know, your, your narration, uh, you can do that uh, with if you have a computer that has a, uh, a microphone built in, uh, such as this Mac, and let's do it real quick. So here's our, if you wanted to do it this way, it's going to make its own track anyway. You could make a track, but it's going to do it anyway. So let's go back here uh, to uh, like right here to the beginning maybe. Well, I don't know. We're, we're kind of working here, so whatever. So let's, uh, I'm just going to put a click point there. So here we go. It's not going to start there though. Watch this. So here we go. Okay, now I am making a test. Da -da 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 -da. And stop. Okay, so I forgot to solo these up here. Or, uh, or unsolo them. Uh, or, or really just Put them all on mute. It would be would be good. And so we have this down here. And why is this grayed out? Well, it's uh, it it is because these are so low. That means all the rest will be uh, grayed out. So let's uh, let's uh, this is stereo. We don't need stereo. Let's get rid of that by split stereo to mono. And I'm going to get rid of that. There we go. So we just needed the one. There we go. And uh, let's. 
Let's, uh, well, let's go ahead and play it. Well, let's move it. Let's move it. Here we go. So here's our narrative, should we want it. Solo all three now, right? Here we go. Da da da. Da 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 da. And stop. Okay, well, you get the idea. So you can see what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of tracks here. Three would be, I think, about right because you're going to have music on one and uh, sound effects. And remember, uh, when you import, it's, uh, audio is going to make a new track, but you don't have to keep it there. You could, you could literally just, you know, uh, move it, move it down here if you had sound effects or something, and keep it all in this this track. You could call it the the sound effect track, for instance, if you wanted to to name it. Uh, you can say music and uh, track. Or you don't even need track. We know it's a track. There we go. So we could we could do that and try and think of ways to economize and not have a billion you know tracks because that's going to really slow down your processor. Okay, so we have that and we know how to tweak the audio now. We know how to fade in and out. Uh, we can also, for instance, uh, let's use one more thing I want to show you. And here's our envelope tool again. I'm going to put uh, four points here. One, two, three. Four. And why did I do that? I'm going to raise that up a little bit. Because here's how if you had music playing and somebody was talking above that, in this case I'm talking, but uh, if you did, if that was the case, uh, you would just literally drag this down, see? And now that's going to be far, uh, you know, way down uh, when you have voices up here and then you continue on like that. These sorts of things you do near the end, the first thing you want to do, of course, is choose your clips. And you want to get those clips in order. And as far as, uh, like I say, we have a small problem here, is that we cannot, at this point, label these these uh, these cl selected clips. So we're going to keep on moving them around. They won't associate with the labels. It would be so nice if we could put a little uh, name on these, but, but we can't. So uh, that's kind of the drawback of, of uh, Audacity that, that I can see. And and uh, I think uh, the next thing we're going to do, and we're going to do that real quick uh, after this, is exporting.